In 2017, I came to Dharamsala um, to collaborate with uh, our co-founders Sonam Tseten and uh, Denzi Kanden on another documentary project for the Tibetan government in exile. So I spent about eight months here in Dharamsala working on uh, various film projects and also consulting for Tibet TV. And in that time, I saw that there are so many, you know, potential filmmakers here in Dharamsala and also you know people who have uh, been trained people who have been partly trained so i saw that there are lots of you know active ind individuals working on different projects on their own the whole idea for drung is to create a vibrant community of storytellers filmmakers artists we kept having this conversation of like what if we started working together um, can we bring out better results uh, can we make a space to support younger artists, younger filmmakers uh, by working together? So that's how it initially started. Drinking until like, accepted it, we feel like, oh shit. Yeah, we are really doing something like, yeah, cheers at it. They are recognizing from senior to artists. At least, I feel like I feel proud, you know, what she does, I measure on the speeches. You must have go, Timochire, Nanya, Togi, Mare, Kakawa, Tony, Tony, Togo, Pomo. Once you money in the Rujil Gude, we were waiting for that kind of shit, you know, like, Benchashan was in general on the YouTube, not on the Nira. NPR land, tiny desk slash though. Like it's kind of similar, you know, like I did similar to Jerera, but then it's different, you know, a little bit different. Uh like little more of like unplug acoustic session room in that this indoor chair. Yeah. Like it, it brings out the more out of like uh the musician, the artist like. So for for our music series live from Dharamsala, uh we usually feature innovative and creative Tibetan musicians. Um and in a sense, we were looking for people who have potential of telling stories. So people who are rooted in their culture, but at the same time trying to innovate and move forward. Uh, who are, I mean, we really had a really good response from, you know, the audience. Mm -hmm. Drum is very, it's a very nice platform. It's very nice thought and very nice. Uh, 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 this is the Korean society is spending it. And just England, that time just me mango, just time just Oh, I was very artist saw that the young girl in the young thing just get chicken. Because the consulate, that guy, because he got to draw it. Consulate experience. Just now, me mango, just minimum to draw it. So that, that was difficult. But we felt it's important to uh, look back at our own uh, story in terms of like where our culture comes from. stage performance, performance. following the videos I think from the first one and I think it's just such a wonderful thing to have in a small town like Dharamshala which uh, also we've been really struggling I think artists generally have been because of the lockdown we've been struggling to go to performances artists have been struggling to come out and perform the way they want to and just to merge these things together and be able to put it up online so that people still know that art is alive and thriving and we should be able to experience it right now I think it's just a wonderful initiative um, especially if you, uh, I remember one of the first videos had like Hindi songs and Tibetan songs and I think as, as a local it's just a very nice window into the world of the Tibetan community as well. 
We are doing a number of different projects, but all geared towards telling stories about Tibet, stories about Tibetans in exile, and of course about I mean, Tibetans in India as well. And Dharamsala is an important place for Tibetans. I mean, for most of, for a lot of us Tibetans, this is where our story starts. You know, after 1959, we set up an exile community here. So this is, in a sense, the capital of the Tibetan diaspora world. Uh, now we are trying to do like a sitcom. Uh, it's, it's coming up. This our new project is coming up, and so far the first pilot pilot of the script is done. So now we are looking for another, like, you know, the, yes, now we are writing the scripts, still writing the scripts, and at the same time, uh, we are doing our audition uh, for the ca uh, casting auditions. Like, now we, we just, like, slowly we started. Uh, so far, we don't have any, uh, we don't have much, like, you know, kind of fun, fun to, 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 to start to new ventures, something like, that's why at, at the moment, we are just thinking that, you know, so we can do whatever we are doing is like you know very minimum cost, very rea rea reality and to very minimum cost. We are trying to create that, and at the same time, so we are looking for and the next steps. Are we are looking for the fund, like a fund or donation base. Or in, in in our website, we have a donation kind of like in the processes there. So that's how we are, we are just trying. To, the most most challenging uh, part at this moment is like you know we have the lack of fund. Uh, we are a group of, you know, filmmakers and the group is, you know, increasing. There are more people joining us. So we just feel like, I mean, if we can create a vibrant community of storytellers in Dharamsala, uh, Tibetans who can tell Tibetan stories, um, and we'll be happy with such kind of a result without, you know, building too much expectation. <laughs>